Hey, what is going on YouTube? I am out here back at you with another video. I'm out here at Patuxent River Jug Bay, which is a beautiful area. There are a lot of trails out here. Uh, me and my lovely sister right here. Uh, we were out here walking and for a minute we were like, where the heck are we going? But we finally, we finally found our way. Uh, we're back on track now. So, uh, that's a good thing but this video is going to be about I have this Sony ZV-1 I'm going to be testing out the uh, stabilization on it I'm going to start off with no stabilization standard stabilization and active stabilization so come on and go along with me I hope you enjoy the video okay this is the Sony ZV-1 this is no stabilization at all Again, no stabilization at all. And I'm trying to walk as carefully as possible, as smoothly as possible. Okay, now I'm gonna go into standard stabilization. Okay, now I'm in standard stabilization on the Sony ZV-1. And I'm trying to walk as smoothly as possible. Standard stabilization. And this is 4K 30P. Okay, now I'm gonna go into active stabilization on the Sony ZV-1. Okay, this is active steady stabilization on the Sony ZV-1. I'm walking as steadily as possible. Yeah, there's, there's a, and I'm out here at uh, Patuxent River. This is uh, like Jug Bay. This is a marsh area that I'm in with the uh, Sony ZV-1. Active stabilization on. on. Uh, I, in my opinion, I think the the standard is I don't really, the standard isn't really effective. I think the uh, the active is much better. I do plan on getting a gimbal, the Weeble S. It is uh, such a beautiful day along this uh, stretch of raised board walk area, if you will, over this uh, marshy area. It's probably about 75 degrees out here today in March. I mean, it could be like snowing out here for real. But fortunately, it's not. <laughs> I love it. I love uh, when, when the weather changes like this. You know, you might get this weather for a few days at this time of the year. What do they call it? Indian summer, I guess. I love it. But uh, this video, I hope you enjoy it. And always remember to uh, subscribe if you enjoy this video. And uh, always, it, I mean, well, not always. If you like, go ahead and, uh, you know, hit that thumbs up and that subscribe. active stabilization on Sony ZV-1. What'd you say, sis? Show the certain terrain. Hey, everybody. <laughs> That's my sister. Show the terrain. <laughs> okay, all right. No problem. I will stop and do a little panning footage right here with the Sony ZV-1. This is a marsh area. This is uh, Patuxent River. Jug Bay. It's a really nice area in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Yes, it is. Thanks for that, sis. It's a good place to walk, but not bike ride, because bike riding, it's like, where are you going to go? <laughs> yeah, and I think it's prohibited up in here also. Yeah. From the uh, signs we've seen. But again, a beautiful area.
tired yet? No. <laughs> we need this is our exercise that, that I definitely need. You said that Chick-fil-A? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got like a walking area up here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually holding this with one hand. I'm holding my tripod in my right hand. So I'm holding this as kind of like as steady as possible. And I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to jump into now. I'm going to jump into... Uh, Standard I'm going to jump into no stabilization for a uh, comparison to this uh, active stabilization Okay, now we're in now the Sony ZV-1 is in This is no stabilization at all nothing A little pan to the right No stabilization at all Leave a leave some comments in the comment section about what you think. And I'm walking as steady as possible. I'm gonna do a little jog right here. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> My sister says she can't. She can't. All this equipment. <laughs> also, uh, you uh, YouTube. I got a uh, I got a backpack coming that uh, is going to accommodate my drone, my Sony ZV-1, and uh, my S1H coming soon. Look for a review coming on that soon. It's a beautiful shot. Now I'm going to go back into uh, active stabilization. Now I'm in active steady shot, active steady shot stabilization. Try to say that real fast three times. On the Sony, this is the Sony ZV-1 active steady steady shot stabilization. I'm gonna do a little jog up this little hill right here. Can you keep up, sis? I'll try. Huh? I'll try with. <laughs> you know, you don't worry. You don't have to have that on. I'm not gonna have you carrying that too much longer. I thank you. I appreciate you. Love you. Love you so much. Okay, can I give you? I love you back. Yeah, I love you too. Okay. <laughs> Getting the workout. Yeah. Hey, we need it. <laughs> Going up this hill right here. Oh, yep. This is active. Steady shot stabilization on the Sony ZV-1. And I'm walking kind of carefully. Okay, what do we have up here? This looks interesting. You want to check it out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh? No, we can't go inside. <laughs> nope. I'm in active, steady shot stabilization on the Sony, on the Sony ZV-1. We're gonna go check this area out over here. Okay, what we're looking at right here is the Ducket Cabin. And reading this, it says the hand new, the hand horn hewn log cabin. I guess that was some way of building it. Back in those times, the 1800s, was built in Aquasco, Maryland, around 1880 as a farm tenant house. This is one. Uh, where was I reading? Um, design. Okay, this one up and one down design was one room and a loft was typically used for slave cabins during the early 1800s. By the late 1800s, it was the standard style for most low-income households in rural America. Notice the uh, chimney is leaning on a pole.
this was a safety precaution adopted in response to frequent chimney fires. The pole could be quickly removed, allowing the chimney to fall away from the house, thus saving the cavern from fire. Hmm. And it also says um, that this place, uh, it was occupied until the 1920s. In the 1970s, the Truman family donated the abandoned cabin to the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. Restoration of the cabin was completed in 2002, pretty recent, using many of the original hand-hewn chestnut beams. Hmm. I'm gonna go take a look at, take a closer look at this place. This little cabin. Man, this place has been out here since the 1800s. Look at this little door. This door is probably like, it's very short. I mean, if I walked in here, I'm only like five, six. If I walked in here, I would have to hold my head down. See this, look at this little window. And this is that chimney with the pole by, beside it. If this caught on fire, this pole could be pulled away and this whole chimney, this whole thing right here would collapse, falling away from the house. And this is uh, made out of some type of mud and some type of clay and wood. It's kind of eerie being around this because you know all of these, the, all of the people that were had something to do with building this are all gone amazing oh i forgot the little there's an outhouse over here again this is uh near the patuxent river at jug bay this area where i'm at that's the little outhouse right there you see a little hole in there i guess you know what that's for little outhouse this is how they uh use the restroom back in those days and right adja adjacent to this uh cabin here is i'm guessing this area they maybe 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 have maybe kept some animals or something maybe a garden back in those days what's that look like Maybe a yeah, some type of uh, like a an, a shed they had back then. See some wheelbarrows, some wood. Store that for the fires for the winter. Very interesting. There's a little house. I think there's an outhouse back there. Where at? Right over there. Oh, you talking about the little white building? Yeah. Yeah, and right uh, right here. This is a cottage right here. We're coming up on now. The Sears house. This and it says right here, the mail order home in front of you is the per, was purchased by Mr. Low Steed from Sears Roebuck and Company in 1923 for about four hundred dollars. It is a quaint three room, no bath cottage. An outhouse could be purchased separately for the or for around forty dollars. I guess that's it back there in the back there the house did not have as I say plumbing or electricity and was heated by the kitchen stove when the Steed family lived in the house in the 1930s during the Great Depression well, let's go take a closer look at this, this little tiny this doesn't look as old as well that cavern was built in the 1800s so that small little kitchen area in there. Very small place. Guess that's for the stove right there. And right here we have some type of wood, I mean, water siph siphoning device. 
I doubt if it still works. Nah. And here's the little outhouse right here. I'm not gonna go in there. <laughs> it's the back. Let's go take a look. Very tiny place. The Sears house. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out here with me and my sister, right? My sister right there. You see her? Hi. So go ahead and say bye. We, we about to peace bye, out. Bye, Bye, everybody. All right. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button subscribe button if you like videos like this uh just go ahead and subscribe and subscribe baby bears again the bell but hit the bell button so you'll be notified in the future when i post new content this video has been about the uh sony zv1's stabilization and uh came out and looked at some of these uh the cabin and it's a cottage over there you can't see it's off camera right now wanted to check those check those things out i found them interesting and i hope you did too until then i'll see you in the next one